Hi viewers and listeners out there. Um, I'm actually a little bit surprised YouTube decided to copyright block this video altogether because it doesn't feature any lyrics. Yes, I know there's still the music itself, but I purposely made this compilation so that it wouldn't feature any of their spoken or sung lyrics. Um, occasionally maybe one or two spoken words slips through because um, I was trying hard not to do that just for this spontaneous idea where I'm only featuring the instrumentals usually the opening few seconds of their each track um, they're known for their orchestrated style of music pop music um, but yeah I can understand it's still copyrighted music because essentially it's the music <laughs> without even though without the lyrics so, um, as I did with Kylie, I did a version of a compilation of her duets where I did a running commentary over it and YouTube seems to be okay with that. So I'm doing the same. <laughs> um, I would have normally commented on each of the singles, but it's rapidly going by because I thought I won't bother trying to trim this down because it's already so trimmed down. I guess I could really trim it down. I could make each instrumental just like five seconds long, but I think that would take away from, you know, the brilliance of their composition. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave it as is and hopefully you'll, you'll be able to <laughs> see and hear this. Uh, you'll hear my running commentary and narration along with the original upload, which is going to be re-uploaded shortly once I've done my narration. Um, I want to say though, as a long-term Pet Shop Boys fan, it's, yeah, like many of you out there who follow particular artists, or one artist, your favourite artist, um, it truly is a part of my life. Pet Shop Boys is a part of my life, as with many of you would relate. Um, I've grown up with them, yeah, the soundtrack to our lives, as they say, uh, along with Kylie and many other artists that have um, been able to make a career for themselves 40 years plus. Um, other artists that come to mind are Banana Rama, um, ACDC, 50 years, um, Madonna, I'm pretty sure. Uh, don't hate me. <laughs> um, yeah, any artist that started in the late 70s or 80s, 90s, noughties, 10s and 20s. Yeah, they're just um, my hats off to all of those artists and we would be diminished without them. And I definitely would be diminished without the Petrol Boys. Uh, I hope there's many more albums to come. I know they're getting older, but Rolling Stones have managed to age and... Oh, okay, I'm going to say age gracefully, you know, instead of with a bit of tongue cheek because even fans would say they're looking all very, you know, wrinkly and raggly and hopefully not having to be in, uh, you know, crutches or any sort of accessibility aids if they play in future. I know, I heard, sorry, that, uh, who was it, um, Genesis, what is that, Phil Collins played pretty much sitting down for a lot of the time when he performed either Genesis and all his solo work because yeah, he was getting older and found it difficult to stand. So I would be prepared to see the Pet Shop Boys if um, Touchwood they weren't able to stand on stage anymore as in stand independently, you know, and needed to sit down throughout their performance. I'd still go and see them as long as the vocals of Neil and Chris occasionally and Chris's ability to play the keyboard continues um, and are able to do that I would see them seated I wouldn't see them though as holograms like ABBA I know that sounds critical but um, I, I'm a fan of ABBA and I would love to have an opportunity to see it in the flesh on stage not holographic representations of them like their current tour is or their recent tour where you see holographic projections of them on stage I know it's actually them singing and everything, but I, yeah, I would find it difficult to pay money to see my favourite artists in holographic form when they respectfully haven't passed away. I mean, maybe once ABBA 
I mean, you know, hopefully not for a long time passes away, I may consider seeing them in holographic form because I'd have no choice. I mean, that would be the only that would be the only way to see the genuine article or the genuine artist. Um, you know, short of actually a, a what do you call it, a tribute band, which they're good too. But again, they're not the real deal, and it will never be the real deal if our favorite artists pass away. But I want their legacy to be respected and be genuine so in the case of ABBA I would see them yeah in holographic form projected form only once they pass away in respect of their legacy so yeah anyway back to the pet shop boys oh, that was a bit of a tangent where are we now oh, say a vida e yes they're uh, South American influences is that the right way is that the right PC way to put it <laughs> Um, yes, lots of sexy models, uh, <coughs> peppered throughout their music videos, especially this one. Lots of shirtless, um, boys and, um, bathing suit clad girls. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that was included there, I got a notification on my mobile, so you heard that do 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 that was in the Pet Job Boys sound effect. Red Letter Day, yes, very memorable as everyone queuing. Uh, this is their Savoy Theatre residency. I would have loved to see that, but at the time I wasn't a savvy, I, don't, I wouldn't call myself savvy, but I wasn't uh, overseas, a solo overseas traveller. I didn't have my YouTube channel then, and it would have been great to film that. I know that's available on DVD, their Savoy um, Theatre stint there. Or well, this is where they got all Space, Odys Space Odyssey. Yeah, Space Odyssey, 2001. We got that right. <laughs> um, yeah, if you watch the full clip, you'll know there's a recreated scene in the lounge room where the protagonist ends up being transported to. Uh, yes, New York City Boy, and any songs about New York. Frank Sinatra, of course, New York, New York. Kylie also did a song with New York in the title. Uh, you only tell me you love me when you're drunk, so I'm laughing because uh, a handful of Petro Boy songs are very lengthy titles, and this is one of them. You only tell me you love me when you're drunk. Oh, also the one just before. Um, I don't, I don't know what I don't know what you want, but I can't give it anymore. That's right. That's also. Um, what have I done to deserve this? Is also a long title. This one's a controversial one. Well, controversial in terms of the divided fans. And new fans alike because it just showed mice on the railway track. It did feature a little bit of the Pet Shop Boys as well, but yeah, showing ma mice or mice, mouse. I thought that was quite creative, really. Um, here they are as buskers. Uh, imagine being a fan and, and walking past. They probably didn't want to include fans gushing over them, they probably wanted to show people being detached from them, you know, knowing them. <laughs> Miracles, beautiful, it could be an ad for a lipstick commercial or cosmetics or anything really. Um, I love the slow down, it just reminds me, yeah, to smell the roses as they say, or as I said in the Deep Space Nine Star Trek episode, visit a <laughs> look, I don't know why I'm laughing, it was a sad episode, um, emotional episode, look up once in a while at life, otherwise you'll miss it, something like that. Um, yes, flamboyant, um, scenes of Japan, I hope to go there next year, I hope I fulfill my own promise, not a promise, but I've made up excuses like I won't understand the language, they'll mistake me for a Japanese person, I'll be confused with the transport system, but I'm sure I'll love it. Uh, yes, Little Britain actors there, sorry the names escape me, but this is, I'm, I'm a bit stupid. Uh, minimal, yes. Uh, another stomper, uh, or banger as they would say, it's brilliant, and it is brilliant in its minimalism in some respect. Uh, Numb, another amazing ballad, lots of orchestration in their music, especially this one. Lovely black and white, classic, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a winner. Yes, uh, Integral, Integral, um, their um, stance on, what is it? UK wanted to implement personal ID cards, I believe. I don't know if that actually went through. Digital personal ID cards, collecting all your information. Love, etc. Yep, animated form there that they're in. Uh, did you see me coming? Yes, another banger. Very earworm, ear candy. Love it. Yes, did you see me coming? I got the giggles. I'm sorry, everyone. 
I'm loving this. Yes, hopefully YouTube will be happy with this version we uploaded with my commentary over the top of their instrumentals. Um, Beautiful People apparently was only released in Germany. Uh, what's this? Together, I oh, guess. They had, they had quite of a phase, if you call it a phase, an era of not appearing much or at all in their video clips, and that's a classic example. Together, I don't think they appear at all. Leaving, yes, this is their Elysium album. I love, that's probably my most favourite title of theirs, album, their single worded album titles, as they do. Elysium's Willow, I would never have guessed if you said, what is the name of that album of that time? Elysium would have never come into my mind. Um, Axis, yes, easy to do this one because it's an instrumental. Oh no, there's a little bit of yeah, spoken word by Neil, but it's mostly Axis. does sound like the Doctor Who opening. <laughs> The Doctor Who theme opening. Um, Love is a bourgeois construct. Yes, I have trouble spelling bourgeois. I've always had to look that up before I type it into the phone as a reference, a title. Again, instrumental opening. Kind of like reminds me like a sequel to um, Left to My Devices. That opened with amazing orchestration as well. And this does it brilliantly too. Yes, you can feel it building and building and building. And if you're in the audience in a live concert and they play this, you're already jumping up and down and waving your arms in the air like you just don't care. Like this one. <laughs> is this Thursday? I think this is Thursday. Yeah. Little cowbells there, classic 80s throwback. Fluorescent, yes, very atmospheric, very like trancey dancey. I'm at a rave, I'm getting high. Woo! Okay, not that I, um, you know, support taking drugs, so be safe out there. Uh, what is other oh, pop kids? Yes, back to return to form. Well, return to form as in it harks back to me to the very album, very Petra Boys. It kind of the perfect sequel to that. Um, 20 something, very poignant, yes. Um, social commentary on the criminal justice system. I would hope there is justice for people that have to go through this. But if you watch the full video, you might not be so sure if this per the, pra 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 yeah. the protagonist got justice or not, or self justice even. Uh, I think this is. Is this Undertow? Say it to me, no, Undertow. I think this is Undertow. Yes, this is the promotion at the time. It was released April 1st. Oh, the year escapes me, but I'm sure uh, super, super fans, uh, I get it, would know the year this was released. The album Super. Not Unleaded. <laughs> super. Super Duper. Oh, yeah, I think I remember reading comments. Someone said if they had the two CD re release, like further listening, the CD1 could be called Super. And CD2 could be called Duper, so Super Duper. <laughs> Dreamland, their collaboration with Years and Years. It did take a long time for this to grow on me. It was a slow burn, and but now the beat is, yeah, I like it. But initially I was thinking, yeah, a bit mediocre. Burning the Heather, yes, fans will know. Oh no, I've got a notification pop up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, in this recording, Burning the Heather was not featured in their Smash latest compilation. Um, I don't know why, but yeah, it was definitely a single, but it's not included in their greatest hits Smash compilation. Monkey Business, very good. We all need a little bit of Monkey Business. I don't wanna, yes, very harking back to the COVID times in some ways, although that's not the reason why he didn't wanna, you know, come out and dance. This was interesting, it's listed as a single, well, according to Wikipedia, Cricket Wife. You got when you, you got that CD when you bought, oh, sorry, when you, yeah, ordered the annually booklet of theirs. Uh, that was their collaboration with, oh no, the band escapes me. Oh, this is terrible. I don't have any notes in front of me. That previous one, uh, Purple Zone, uh, was a collaboration with a band. Now we're up to date to, to 2024 here with Loneliness, the first single from Nonetheless. Very homoerotic uh, video, but why not? <laughs> I'm all for that. Uh, yes, very sexual tension, maybe you could say in the clip, or sexual release. Yep. Uh, Dancing Star, yes, the famous Russian ballet dancer. And the latest, very latest single, third single, uh, New Bohemia, and I a ended off with a bit of a comic.
twist. You could say this is a brilliant video where they don't even have to do anything. I'm sure Chris Lowe would have loved that and just sit down in a chair pretending to be kidnapped, taken to ransom by the Blue Britain crew and asked to approve of their rendition of I'm With Stupid with elements of uh, Go West. Uh, there you go. Oh, no. Let's stop this now because before it takes any more screenshots. Okay, YouTube, I hope you approve. Let's try to reload this and see you then. Thank you for watching and listening.